How are you? <coughs> Can you all hear me? <coughs> Crystal clear? Hmm? I don't know whether this mic is speaking my voice or not, that's why. All good, right? Right. So, what we are going to do now, we are going to study our mind. We are going to learn about our mind. We are going to understand, reflect, and comprehend what is our mind. Are you ready? When I asked you, how are you? What do you feel? What is the answer that you can give it to me? Uh, generally, people say, all good? Good yourself? Not too bad? Not too bad? That, is, that means like, it is bad, but not too bad. Uh, you can come, yeah, you can come forward actually, because I can see, you know, if you can come forward and be seated in the front. You know what, the, the, I can't remember when I was doing, doing my undergrads at university, like, if I can't see the lecturer, if I can't see the lecturer, <laughs> then I feel start what? <laughs> so you have to have super active listening. What is this super active listening and active listening? There's a difference between active listening and super active listening. And not hyperactive listening. So super active listening means I have something to explain to you. Something that I have understood, something that I have reflected, and I have comprehended. When, I, when I'm explaining that thing to you, then you have to do something else as well. What is that? Imagine there's a virtual desk in between us. Not this one. I'm talking about something that I understood, the theories, or the, the, the mechanism of, the science, mechanism of, science, of the science of this mind, the, how this mind is working. And what you have to do is, you have to reflect, you have to think about, you have to bring your memories, bring your experiences, and you have to match them. You have to do the research. I hope that you all are doing research, or you all are involved in some kind of research. I know some people are doing chemistry, which is of course what I did. I did my PhDs in biochemistry at Australian National University before I come into robe. Robe is this kind of web, you know, bed sheet, something like that I'm wearing. That is the thing called robe. So this is, the, this is how monks, Buddhist monks. So this is the, the cloth that I'm wearing, but inside me, I'm still a scientist. Because I have done, I have studied about COVID-19 proteases. I hope that some, some, of, some of you might familiar with them. And I tried to find inhibitors to inhibit the protein activity. That's what, that was my postdoctoral fellow research. I, got, I did three year postdoctoral fellowship. And after that, I went back to Sri Lanka with my wife, later I'm wife. Now I don't have wife. So later I'm wife. She also did PhD in analytical chemistry. So we both entered into the a stream of studying the mind, doing the research in the mind. So I want you to do the same thing. Not come, not, you don't have to come to robe, right? What you have to do is, let's analyze what is this mind. Let's analyze what is this perception. Let's understand how do you feel things. 
Let's understand. How do you understand the world? Don't you think that you are using mind since you were born? Since you were born, you have been using your mind to study, to reflect, to understand what is actually happening in the outside. That is the thing that you were doing since you were born. But the interesting thing is, have you read the operation manual or STS or material data sheet, safety data sheet of the mind? No. It's like those days I can remember, those days I, in our, uh, I worked in research school of chemistry. We bought a new mass, mass spectrometry uh, that is Orbitrap Elite. That was in 2019 or 2000, I can't remember now. And when we bring the, when we brought the instrument and the scientist, uh, sorry, uh, whatever the, what are them called? Like, oh, the, the who operates the thing, like uh, trainee, tra tra trainers who, who knows the thing, engineers uh, from Thermo Fisher Scientific. Uh, you, you're familiar with those guys, right? I know that. They came, there, they came to our university and they installed it. And after one month, machine broke down. Come on, we spent $100,000 and now machine is not working after one month. Then we, then we contacted them. Luckily, we had the you know, warranty period and they visited Canberra, which is far away from Melbourne, you know, 600 kilometers again. So we have to spend two, they have to, I think, spend nearly $1,000, $2,000 for that visit as well, for the engineers. And what they found is, they forgot to remove a thin film, which is blocking the ventilations <laughs> of the inside of the machine. So if you don't understand, if you don't know what it is, when you start to using it, what are the circumstances that you will, fa you will face? you're going to face a lot of trouble. Now think about your life. Don't you feel suffering? Ah, no, I'm always happy. Are you always happy? Now go back to your life. From dawn to dusk, womb to tomb, what you have been doing. Eating, drinking, sleeping, having sex. These are the four things that you've been doing. You know what? The dog is also saying, ah, I'm also doing the same thing. Okay, what is the difference between you and the dog? Oh, because I'm doing a PhD. <laughs> now you're talking with the dog, huh? With the dog. I'm doing a PhD. Okay, now dog is asking. I know you're doing a PhD, that's good, mate. Okay, what are you doing after, uh, why are you doing PhD? Because I want to explore the world and at the end of the day, I, I need to live a happily happy life. Ah, okay, okay. I'm also living happy life, but I don't do a PhD. Okay, mate, what you're doing? Eating, drinking, sleeping and having sex. What else you are doing? Okay, I'm also doing the same thing. Now you're talking to dog. Ladies and gentlemen, what is the difference between this dog and you? Think. You have a specific mind. You have a human mind, which has a specific ability to think about, to understand about yourself. That's what dog cannot do. But the thing is, you don't know that there's a, speci there's a special plugging in this mind activity. Hence that you've been doing the same thing what dog is doing. But life as a dog is very easy compared to the life as a human being, isn't it? Because we have to work, we have to go to school, we have to study, we have to do research, and all that at the end of the day, we earn something and we eat and we are happy and we are sleeping. Don't you think there's a problem in this life as a human being? I mean, come on, guys. 
Your mind is not here to suffer. Your mind is here to enjoy what you can receive from the world. But instead of enjoying, what you have been doing is suffering. You feel fear, you feel anger. When are you, when are you last time you get angry? When did that, that, that happen? Do you remember? Shh, just one hour ago. <laughs> When did you feel annoyed? Ah, I don't like him. When do you, when do you, oh, I know, some of you might have experienced the, the confirmation, the mid, mid, mid-term confirmation, or what, what, what do you have in QUT? You know, this is the first university I applied for my PhD. And then I got rejected. <laughs> and then I applied to Australian National University, and I found a supervisor who was able to fund my project and then now here I'm talking to you guys but I didn't I didn't talk to people in the NU yet I'm traveling around the country so just asking so you might be familiar with you you might be familiar with this you know the uh, research right the confirmation so you have to face them as well don't you feel stress of course. Is it normal to be stressed? Of course. Everyone is feeling the stress, then why shouldn't I? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the secret. Stress is happening. The stress that what you felt is actually happening in, within your mind. Your mind gets stressed not the outside world. Your confirmation is where? In the outside world. The outside world incidents are innocent. They don't have any, they don't bear any value in them. But from your mind, since you have projected the value towards them, now who is suffering? Now who is suffering? The mind is suffering. Now mind feels stress, anxiety. No, what we are doing? Always pointing finger towards the outside. That's a disease, you know. Because of that guy, I feel the, I feel angry. Because of that thing, I feel stress. Because of that, I have to face this. I feel stress. So you're always pointing your fear, anger, grief. Not only that, even your happiness. Where, where, where does it come from? It is, it, it's, come from it's coming from where? Come on, the food that you associate. The, the food that you eat, it has the happiness. Don't you think so? Don't you feel that food is, the, 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 one that, the thing that you eat has the happiness or not? Yes, it has the happiness. That's why you feel it, because you're taking that food. When you go and see a beautiful scenery, where's the beauty? What are the fall, waterfalls? Here, you have a lot of waterfalls in Brisbane, right? In Canberra, it's very dry, you know? There's nothing there. It's like a ghost town. Not a ghost town, but you have parliament. So, so when you go and see this waterfall, how do you feel? Ah, relaxed. Calm, and that was lovely and beautiful. Okay, now think, where's the beauty? Is it in the waterfall? If it is in the waterfall, then why some people say, ah, I don't like that. If you guys are seeing the same waterfall, then you should feel the same beauty. Because if the waterfall contains the beauty, the beauty should come to you as well as well as come to the other people as well. Think, think, think. Now you have to start this act, super active listening. Now you have to apply to your life experiences because you have the lab with you. But I'm giving you the theories to apply into your lab of life. You're the lab rat in your lab. That's why I am still a scientist. 
That's why we call, I'm a scientist in a robe. I'm not a Buddhist monk. If you ask me, am I a Buddhist? Are you a Buddhist? Ah, no, 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 no. I'm not a Buddhist. I'm a scientist in a robe. Because those days I was mixing things. Hmm? Those days I was mixing things and observed the colors and fluorescence and all these things. You know, we had, what is that? Cell sorting and all these things we were doing. But now, I'm not doing anything outside. I know everything happens to me is happening inside. So I do my research within myself. You know what? I'm publishing as well, not in the outside journal. <laughs> it proves to me that what I'm doing. So you have to prove yourself these, these things because lack of understanding about the mind, that is the crude cause that you feel suffer. That is the root cause you feel anger. That is the root cause you feel stress and anxiety, depression. All the mental health issues that you can exist, you can see around the world, originated from where? Where? In the mind. Because mind doesn't know mind. Because mind is not minding its own business. <laughs> so please, you can say to mind, mind, Please mind your own. Come on, mind your own business. <laughs> you can say to your mind, we are going to unveil a big mystery here. You know how meritorious you are. You are about to listen about yourself. That's why when I ask you, how are you? What is the feeling that you have? You're talking about how things are going around me, right? Yes. Good. That's your answer. Then if I ask you, who are you? You know, what is the difference between how are you and who are you? I'm sorry, I can't write. <laughs> right? What is the difference between these two lines? What are the ingredients? Let's analyze ingredients, right? There's, there's H, O, W, A, R, E, U, O, Y, O, U, question mark. What is the effect that you feel? You feel about? Are you talking about me? You're talking about uh, how things going around me. Yes, good, doing good. That's what you answer. Agree? Agree? Are we on the same page? Same wavelength? You can understand myself? Because we have to resonate to each other. You have to talk to me. You have to see. Mm -hmm -hmm. You, have to, you have to reply to me, OK? And the next thing is also, who are you? Let's analyze what are the ingredients. W, yes, W is there. H, H is also there. O, yes, O is also there. And A, R, E, uh, same. And question mark is also there. Ingredients are same. But with a different arrangement, what is the feeling? There's a different arrangement between how and who. And what is the feeling? Who are you? Answer that question. Don't, I don't ask, I didn't, I didn't, don't, don't tell me your name. Your name is something that you have taken from your mom and dad. Your mom and dad told me, my son, your name is Mike. What? Mike. What? Mike. What? Mike. And then after that, what is your name? Mike. What is your name? Mike. Then what happens? After that, you start to experience what? When I ask you, who are you? No, sorry, yeah, who are you? Then you feel, I'm Mike. Right? No, before you get to the name, before you know, know your name, did you know who are you? 
No way. That is where you start to feel your identity. And before that, you are a nomad. You are a nomad. You don't know who you are. Right? And then, that's why when I ask you, who are you, then don't tell me your name. I'm not asking about your name. I need to, I need to think about who are you. Without telling your name, do you have an answer? Do you have an answer for that question? Uh, I'm not interested, interested in that question because I feel that I exist. Okay. When I wake up, I have a lot of things to do. Huh? Duties and responsibilities, I fulfill them. At the end of the day, I go to bed. And next day morning, okay, another thing, another day, another way. Right? You do the same. You spend your life. How many years? 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then you're going to end up with where? Age care, and then bye bye. You know, what happened to things that you have done? What is, your, what is going to do with your PhD at the end of your life? Are you going to take it? Tell me, tell me, tell me. You've been accumulating all the things to your life. At the end of the day, what happens? At the end of your life, you leave everything and you go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is like something, you know, that you enter to the Kmart with some money, right? You go here and there and you collect everything in the Kmart to the trolley. And you go to, what is that, uh, self-checkout or whatever, and you spend hours in checking out and you have a lot of things, right? And then you collect everything, and you, when you come back to the entrance, you know, the gate, the security guard is taking everything that you have, even the bill. No, you are not allowed to take anything out. Give it to me. And like, imagine this kind of situation, right? It's not going to happen. They are going to <laughs> give you, then you can take it because you say that it's yours. I know, don't worry about that. But I'm saying, <laughs> This is something like that, right? When you go out, what happens? They are going to take everything that you hold. And okay, now you can go. Okay, tell me, what is the point of going to that Kmart? You're not going to take anything. Since you were born, you were accumulating pens, pencils, erasers, you know, the, those days, you, were, you like about them, you know, the different types of pencils, and you like about, the, you like for the, the, I mean, you, were, you, were crave, you crave for those things, right? You like, for, you like those things, and you collected, you accumulated, and you know, there's some girls and dolls and all these things, and, uh, and cars, these are the, your childhood. And you, you played with them, building blocks, right? And then after that, what happens? When you come to uh, a, the age where you go to school, now you, you check, oh, okay, that guy is study hard, so I have to study hard as well. So now you have a race between these two guys, right? Now you're accumulating the education qualification certificates, right? Because happy heart is a full purse. But you, don't understand, you didn't understand that happy, happy heart is better than a full purse. What you feel, if you want to feel the happiness, you need to have full purse. Because money makes you happy. I love money. Money, 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 such a honey. That's why when you're born to this world, you've been fed with this system. Now you are trapped in there. You can't understand what is the maze that you are trapped in. Have you, have you, uh, have you played Maze Runner? 
it's like Temple Run. Those days in the, the tablet that we played Temple Run, you go uh, yeah, here and everywhere, and, and at the end of the day, you shut down and uh, you don't, I mean, what are the things, what is the thing that you take into your life? Nothing. Remember, you're not going to take tuppence worth of thing when you leave this world. You're not, go no, you're not going to take tuppence worth of thing. Please, please, please understand that. You have to understand who you are. You have to understand what is your mind is doing. That's why you are a human being. That is the very reason that you're born as a human being. That is the difference between animal and a human being. You know, there's a Sanskrit sloka, Ahara nidraha bhayamaitu nancha samanya metat pashubhir naranam dharmo hitesha madhikha vishesho dharmena hina pashubhi samana. You might be, it might be Greek to you. That is Sanskrit. It says, the ability to reflect about themselves is the difference between animal and a human being. Otherwise, eating, drinking, sleeping, and getting fear and having sex is very common to both of them. So let's wake up. Let's trigger this part of your mind and try to understand what is happening around you. Are we clear? Right? Still, I haven't started my sermon. Still, I haven't started anything because I have a lot of things to tell you. We have, until, we have time until 3.40, am I right? 3.40, one hour, good. Right. Now we all clear that there's a problem with us. That is, we feel suffering. We feel fear, we feel anger, we feel stress and anxiety and all the depression and everything that you name it, you go to counselors because of these things. Right? Relationship issues, name it, you have a lot of problems in your mind, right? There's a one reason, that is lack of understanding what mind has to do. Let's analyze this. So, do I, feel, do I have to feel stress about that it is not erasing? Come on, if I feel stress about this, then what, what is the point of practicing what I'm doing? I don't feel any stress. I say, ah, it's not saying. What else we have? I know. Been there, done that, both the t-shirt because I have this experience. So, if you face a problem, what you have to do, find a solution. Being stressed or being fear or being annoyed, Nothing, I mean, that annoyance, like you are wasting your time. Let's say you have an exam tomorrow, you have an exam tomorrow, you are stressed now. I mean, what is the stress is doing with the exam? It's not going to turn your world upside down. Come on, exam is not the end of the day, end of the world. This is not 2012. But what, why, why do you feel stressed? Why do you feel stressed about this confirmation? Is it co confirmation? Is it that what you call? Uh, whatever. Okay, see, you can erase it. If there's a will, if there's a will, there's a way. If there's a will, there's a way. What you have to do is find the way. Right? If there's no way, then find some, somehow there's a way. there should be a way to erase it. Okay. What is the world? When I ask you, what is the world? Then you, you, will, ex you will say, ah, the world? The world? What is the world? You know that world that people can see from the space? <laughs> That is Earth, my dear friend. <laughs> Let's analyze what is your world. There's only one world. I'm not talking about Singapore Airline. You know that this is under one world, right? Singapore Airline? One world? I know. One world is Qantas. Your world. Mm. 
there are two parts. What are the sections? There's a physical world. And there's a mental world or spiritual. You might have heard many different ways, but this is a simplest way to explain because everyone can understand. Right? I'm going to unveil something that you haven't studied before. So please be open minded and try to analyze within yourself. So, what is this line? This is very interesting. This line is your interface. What is the interface? Sorry about my handwriting. Those days, everyone is complaining about my handwriting. Uh, my supervisors, they cannot understand. Okay, can you understand this? The interface is body. Interface is body. Now, now the mind is dealing with, mental world is where the mind is. The carbon atoms, hydrogens, fluorine, neon, sodium, electrons, proton, blah, 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 quarks, antimatter or matter, whatever, those things exist in here. Agree? Now you have eye, nose, and then ear, tongue, and your skin. They are the interface that brings the message from the outside to the inside. Are you clear about that? Can you understand that? Yes. I hope that is not Greek to you. Right? Let's separate these two worlds apart. The problem that happens in the mental world has to analyze within the mental world. The problem that happens in the physical world, you have to find solution in here, not in here. Stress. Anxiety, depression, what do you feel? Happiness, pleasure, whatever, suffering happens in here, agree? Have you, have you seen that this uh, glass of, the glass is complaining about uh, keeping here? Why should, why did you keep me here? I like to be there. Have you experienced such kind of thing? No, they are not complaining, right? This flower is not complaining anything, right? They are the nature. So the problem that happens in the outside, that are the carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, neon, whatever, the fluorine, all these materials, then you have to deal with the outside. Right? You have to seek solution in the outside. For example, when you do research, if you don't get the expected results, what should you do? Try to mix different way. Right? You have to find different solution, different way. Okay, ah, if this is not the working, then how, the, how can we do that thing? Right? There should be a way. Try to find the way. That is your research. Come on. Do your research. Right? Why, why, are you why are you getting stressed about that? Because inside world, there's a problem. Problem is, no one knows what is this problem. There's a, one problem for this world. The root cause is 
ignorance and attachment. There's an ignorance in the mind. That's why when I ask you, who are you? Do you have an answer? No, you don't know who are you, but you're using your mind. And then now you tumble in all the confusions and sorrow and all the fear. So what is the attachment? Because of that ignorance, because that you don't know who are you, now you, you have attached to things. Agree? Agree. And because of that, you have expectations. Now you want to be happy, you want to, be, you want to feel contentment. You want to feel happiness, you want to feel satisfaction. That's what you have been doing since you were born. Try to find the satisfaction, try to find the happiness. Agree or not? Is there anyone who, who is living here to be unhappy or you are now trying to, you, every moment you want to be happy or not? You want to find happiness. Are there anyone who wants to be unhappy? Who wants, who is seeking unhappiness? Sadness? No, 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 no. You want to feel the happiness. You want to be content. You want to be elated. But the thing is, you don't know how this happiness is coming from. You have no idea what is the happiness is. That's the very reason you are suffering. That's the very reason you feel stress, anxiety, depression. Because you have no idea what is the mind is. That is the ignorance that you have. So let's analyze what is this mind is doing. Are we ready? Now I'm going to do the scientific stuff. Are we ready to do the research? Ready. Okay, I'm going to do magic, huh? There's a theory in this world that is cause and effect nature. You have to understand that first, thoroughly. In order to explain that cause and effect nature, I'm going to use something that you can see, something that you can feel very easily. This world and this world, all driving, with that same principle, that is the cause and effect principle. You can call it gravitational field. You can call it Newtonian's law. You can call it buoyancy law, whatever. Theories are there, but the principal theory is cause and effect nature. Let's understand that first, before you delve in deeper into the mind, because this is also, and this world and this world, all, both of the world are acting, performing, operating under the same laws of principles. That same law, same principle. That is the nature's law. That is what Christian, Christ, in Christianity it called about, that's why, that's what they uh, call about the God. That is the nature. If you can be with the God, that means if you can understand the God, if you can understand the nature, you are my son. You are the son of the God. That's what Lord Jesus has explained to the society. That's why I read the Bible, I know there, I have done the research, I know what it is there. If you take the literal meaning, you don't understand what, what is the message that he wanted to transfer. If you go deeper, sublime teaching of any religion, you will find what is the true hidden message that he is going to transfer to the society. Now you agree? Every, every philosophy, everything has something to transfer to the society, sublime. If you are, if you are, if you, if you are open-minded, then you can understand. Right? Are we ready to explore the theory? Cause and effect? Okay. Are you sleepy? No? No. 
engaging okay now you are about to hear something very different listen see right you are about to see something very different right now guess what is inside milk water what is inside nothing <laughs> it looks like i'm a magician right <laughs> okay i don't know what is inside let's see what is inside there's no smell what is this from a ganet juice diluted or cream soda you can't see right can you see cheers <laughs> i take from here right i took it from here right now i have to they open this one right no <laughs> so what is your choice this one or this one let's do this okay oh that is going to be cream soda i think blueberry blueberry juice you can interpret whatever you like <laughs> because you can't see what is here i can prove to you now in in couple of minutes what is the color of this red What is the color of this? Blue. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to put this red color thing here and then Now I'm going to do mixing. Right? Now what is the color? Black? Purple. Can't you see purple? Purple. Now grapes fruit. Like grapes juice. Is it grapes? So you can see purple. Okay. When red is mixed with blue, what happens? Purple is there or Now tell me what is inside Is there red color pigment or blue color pigment or purple color pigment I'm not asking what you see I'm asking what is there Because of course what is here red color pigments okay what is in here blue color pigments are we ready are we clear on that yes what is here then purple color pig no you have both red and blue so what do you see now uh, now you have to question about this what is in here red color pigments blue color pigments agree agree but what do you feel what do you see what is the effect that is purple when red mixes with blue you start to experience purple color that means 
you haven't created purple color pigment. What you have done is mixing the causes. When causes mixing each other, when causes mix each other together, then manifestation of an effect happens. There's an effect called purple, but is there purple color pigments? No, 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 no. Try to understand this concept. When things mix together, a completely different effects are manifesting. But what is there? The both the things that you have mixed. You haven't created anything new. When you mixed chocolate with biscuit, then what happens? Chocolate biscuit are creating. Is it chocolate biscuit or is it are there are there chocolate and biscuit both particles are there? So what is the effect that you feel? Is it new thing? No. It's same things are there that now it's mixing. Because of the mixing, now different effect, you can experience different effects. Are we on the same page? The person, I, I can't see you, madam. I, can, I don't know whether you can see me. You can come forward. Who's seated in the back? You can come forward because you, you can, can you see this? Ah, okay. You are listening these things for the first time in your life, I know. This is, this is not the general science. You haven't studied this for the general science as well. Because you always feel that you have created something new. That is what you feel. Because you feel that there's a new thing. What is, what is the new thing? Purple color. But there's no new thing. It is the same thing, same thing that you have mixed is there. Blue color pigment and the red color pigments. Please understand that. Are you agree on this experiment? Right? Different effects are manifesting because of the different causes are coming together. But in science you learned, purple color is being made by mixing red color and blue color. What you feel is you are creating purple color by Mixing red color and blue color. Are you creating purple color or purple color is the effect? Purple color is the effect. Purple color, can purple color talk about red color? Let's say, you know, have you, have you, have you, have you wrote, um, what is that, uh, you know, when you were small, uh, Tree is going to speak. Now, tree is speaking. And you are, you are writing a letter, you are writing a poem that how tree feels about the world. Right? Something like that. Now I'm asking, if, to, if purple color talks about itself, right? Can he feel what is the red color? Can this purple color feel what is red color? Can he talk about, can this purple color talk about what is red color? No, because he knows about himself. That is purple, right? Blue color knows about blue color. Red color knows about red color. When these two mix together, then different effect manifest. That effect doesn't know what is the effect of the red color. What is the effect of the parent? What is the effect of the father? This is the father, mother, and this is the son. Son is not something completely different entity. Dear ladies and gentlemen, it is a mixture of father and mother. You haven't created something completely different. You have created a different effect. But father gave the DNA codon, father's DNA and mother's DNA, when they get mixed. Now, what happens? There's a different effect he's manifesting. But what are the ingredients? That's why you can talk about your father and your mother when you analyze the cell. Why? You know, this DNA is coming from father. This DNA is coming from mother. Think, 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 think about this. I can agree or no? No? 
Okay, okay. You feel the different effect. I'm talking about the ingredients. I'm not talking about your qualities are like father or your qualities are like mother. No, 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 no. The qualities are the effect that you feel. But what are the ingredients? The cordon, <laughs> DNA cord, that is coming from parents. Right? That's how you can understand, identify, oh, this is your father, or this is your mother, because they're, they're, that blueprint is there. Agree? I have done my biology. I can remember some kind of that, such kind of theory that we learned. Because this ingredients is same. Red color and blue color pigments are there, but purple color is a manifestation. Agree? Okay. I'm going to erase this, huh? Right. What is the quality of sodium? This is a metal, explosive. What is the quality of chlorine? It's a bleach, it has bleaching, bleaching ability. When you mix together, uh -huh. which is your favorite? Salt, what you add to your food, does it explode? Does it bleach your body? <laughs> no. Variety is the spice of life, right? When things mix together, what happens? You feel the variety. Why? This is salt now. Effect is different to the parents. Sodium is explosive, chlorine is bleaching, but sodium chloride is what? completely opposite, that is, you can add to your cuisines and you can enjoy, you can feel the taste of salt. But what is actually there? Same sodium is here, same chlorine is here. How many electrons? 23, 23, 23, 6, 35, 35, whatever the amount of electrons, protons, neutrons are going to be here as well. Now the same sodium is here, same chlorine is going to be there, now mixing, and because of that, what is the effect now? Salt. Do you understand that? For this effect, the salt in us, sodium is equally contributing. Chlorine is also equally contributing. The effect of salt in us is coming from both sodium and chlorine. They both equally contribute for that effect or not. Right? Can you tell me, can you, can you tell, oh no, because of sodium, this saltiness is coming. No, 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 you can't point only sodium, that saltiness is coming from sodium, because if you don't have chlorine, what happens? Then sodium will be there. We, they, they, they both equally contribute or not? Yes. How about hydrogen? which is explosive, right? And how about oxygen, which is also, fa which favors the explosion? And how about water? I should balance. How about water? This has quality of eliminating fire, right? in some, like, when you have the right conditions. So, this has, a effect, this has an effect of exploding, and this is favor of favor, the explosions, and this is cooling down. Come on, when things mix together, the effect, you can see a different effect that you never, ever thought of. Do you understand of that? But ingredients are same. 
can you understand the concept that I wanted to convey to you? Things mix together, same things are there, but you feel the different effect. Right? Right. So that is the principle. What is the word here? You can't say. O U R. <laughs> R. O is there, U is there, R is there. Is there a word or is there an arrangement? Where's the word? Word is here or word is in your feelings? That's in your feelings. What is exist here? What is existing here? O, U, R. Agree? Where's the R then? Where's R? Here? No, here. That is in your perception. Can you see something? Can you, what you see here is the arrangement, is an arrangement. But what you feel is, when you see the arrangement, you start to experience a something completely different effect. That is what you feel. That is the effect of O, U, R mixed together. Then you start to experience completely different effect in your mind. That is the effect of R. Am I talking about science or not? I'm talking about science, but this is the science of the mind, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are going to explore deep delve into the mind. Now we are entering to the mind. Earlier that we discussed about something in the outside. Now I'm going deeper and deeper to your mental world. You can see T O U R here. And this T, sorry, O U R is contributing to manifest an effect in your mind. Do you agree or not? Now what is here? Tour. Now our becomes tour O, O U R, now T O U R. No, 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 no. Our doesn't, be, our didn't become tour. You can't convert our to tour. What happens? Earlier you felt our. Because of that different arrangement, now you start to experience what? Tour. What happened to the experience? Our. Is it gone somewhere? From, did you open the door? Did you, don't, don't you feel our now? Don't you feel our? You feel our, right? What happened to the our? Changed? Changed? Is there a R constantly within you? Like fixed? Something fixed within you? R? No. When the causes come together, different effects are manifesting. That effect is not going to be there completely, constantly fixed. It is not fixed. It is not constant. It is not continuously staying there. It is happening right at this each and every moment. Each and every moment, now the causes are arranging to manifest an effect called what? Tour in your mind. Now, our in your mind. Now, tour in your mind. So, when you see our, and now you see tour, the perception of our is now seized. The manifestation seized. It's like a process, ladies and gentlemen. This light is switched on. Oh, is it constant or is it manifesting each and every moment? This light is emitting rays every moment, again and again and again and again. When you switch off using the switch, what you're doing is stopping, ceasing that process of manifesting the light rays. Agree? Okay, similar, your mind is actually something like that. Your mind is not constant. Each and every moment, it arises and passes away. It arises, the manifestation arises, and manifestation ceases. Now, our is arising, 
Now hour has ceases. Now different causes. Now different manifestation. That is the true. So where's the person who perceived hour? Now where's the person who perceived true? Is it same person? The person who perceives our is gone when our is gone. The person who perceives to her is now arises. That means you can say, happy birthday. Each and every moment your mind is born again. You know the ult born ultimatum? No? Someone? There's a film, something like born again. Someone is born again. Shakespeare born again? No, sorry, uh, not Shakespeare. Uh, Sherlock Holmes born again? Is there a movie? Is there a... Ah. Okay, whatever, it, come, it came to my mind. So, the each and every moment, mind arises now with this effect. Our is not here. Our is the effect that you experience. That experience is gone. It's, it's actually like it ceases when these causes are coming together. Now it is true. Because you didn't understand that this is an effect, you are going a tour around the world. When you understand this principle, it will detour that what you have been doing. Because you can't see me. You can't see what is exist here. You can see what you can see in your perception. I can prove to you now. Let's, end. Let's explore that. In order to perceive what is happening here, right? You need to have eyes, don't you? In order to see what is happening here, don't you need eyes or not? Is it too much or not? It is too, it is, is it too much? What you, I'm, I'm going deeper and deeper into your mind because this is the science that you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, you are in a delusion. I can show you now. You see this red color, right? In order to see red color, red color is your perception, right? In order to happen this perception, what are the requirements that you need to have? The first thing is you need to have an eye. And there should be light, of course. Otherwise, it will be dark. You can't see anything. You need eyes. You need light. And you need whatever the material that is existing here. Otherwise, you can't see anything. What are the pigments and everything that exists here should be there. The material. What else you need? Oh, there are a lot of things. Come on. You need to have a brain. You need to have a heart. Not only that, ladies and gentlemen, Earth should rotate itself as well. And sun, Earth should rotate around the sun as well. Otherwise, if Earth stops doing that, then what will happen to your perception? If Earth stops orbiting, then what happened? You will kick away from the earth because then gravitational field won't be there. <laughs> Agree? In order to see this glass on this table, you need to perceive, you need to have the eyes, light, and the heart, mind, whatever the brain. Not only that, this table should be there, earth should be there, and this all these lights and all this electricity, optus, telstra should work, should be working. Right? In order to come here, you should receive the email as well, right? 
then the, the network connection should be there. So there are millions of millions of courses are coming together to manifest this effect of perception of red color. Agree or not? Agree? All these conditions, all these causes are equally contributing to manifest this effect in the perception. Agree or not? It's like when you take out sodium from the sodium chloride, then that effect is gone, right? When you remove T, T letter T from tour, then that effect is gone. Now it's, what is there? R. Agree? Right. In order to manifest this red color perception, millions of causes are coming together and all of the causes are equally contributing towards the red color perception. But, you perceive red color here, right? Where's the red color? Is it here? Oh, this is your mind that you experience. But you are giving all the credit credits to where? To this glass. You are saying glass is red. You know, light is complaining. Dear sir, without me, you don't know what is there. Earth is complaining. Dear sir, without me, even you can't see. Your eyes is complaining. How dare you, you are saying that the glass is red color. Without me, how can you see this? Agree or not? You feel the red color. Now, do you feel the red color or not? Yes, yes, yes. In your perception, where is the red color? In the mind? Or here? What do you feel? Is it here or here, there? You feel this is, this, is, this is red color, right? Don't you? Are you all enlightened with this dumb knowledge or you didn't know this before? You, have, you haven't think about this. The red color is coming from where? Here. Here. The light is coming and hitting here and because of that electrons get excited. Now you can see red color light is coming towards your eyes. That's what you feel. That's what you think. That's what you learn. That's what you studied before. But ladies and gentlemen, light is not red. This light is not white. <coughs> huh? Color is something manifesting in the mind, not in the outside. What you, understand, what you feel, what you see, is not something exists here. That is what you feel, the perception. You only live with your mind, ladies and gentlemen. You don't know what is existing here. Am I breaking your world into pieces? I don't know. This is the science that give you to do the research. This is the research that you have to do, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. In this glass, I'm talking about this glass, right? In this glass, you have a chemical. Actually, this is food coloring. These are not promaganate. This is not blueberry. This is not grapefruit juice, right? In this glass, you have a chemical structures. You know, this color, uh, I can't remember what is the red color molecule, right? These are, you know, the calculate structures. Different structures are there. These are the structures exist in here. Light is not white color. Light is an energy ray. Energy ray is bearing energy. It bears the energy. These are energy packets. Have you done quantum 
physics at least a small amount like energy packets I've done that I know what is actually there right that's why I'm saying there are energy energy part energy you can say particles or whatever energy is coming energy is coming right and it hits these chemical structures and then electron gets excited about it's like someone hit you what happened you get excited right well, how dare you you hit me no something like that the, when electron get hit the, the hit by the light rays what happens the electrons get excited and they like to they be like that or they want to release that energy as soon as possible they want to release that energy so they slowly release that energy the way that it releases the energy is again emitting light rays if it is 10 kilojoule whatever the joules whatever and here also might be five pieces of five joules and five joules are going now right agree <coughs> agree and here you have the lens of your eyes right what is coming to the lens is it color or is it an energy come on you have done this physics before otherwise you can't do chemistry phds or you can't do any <laughs> at least you have to do general science in all levels ordinary levels right so it's energy is coming to the coming to hit the lens and then there's a retina what is there in the retina oh there are cells right different types of two types of cells who did biology oh there's a doctor in, in this room what are they rods and rod cells and cone cells ah because i know the single word i can't remember the english term for that that's why i asked you thank you very much for giving enlighten me that so there are two types of cells red cells and cone cells these are the shapes of the cells that's why they name it three types ah oh, okay anyway <laughs> no no it's fine <laughs> because now i know okay there are three types thank you very much for enlightening me right so then what happens this energy is stimulating these cells when this energy hits on this surface of this cell it triggers it eliminates sorry it emits what a signal through the nerves agree this is the science that you have learned i'm not doing in, i'm not talking about rocket science i'm talking about something that you have learned so this is the light this is the uh, what the nerve signals are now coming out where's the color you told that you eyes can see colors right it's a lie you eyes can't see color come on this is energy rays and this is electric current or whatever electricity this is nerve signal nerve signal means voltage uh, uh, potential difference you have myelin sheets and all these things in nerves right uh -huh. and then all these nerves are going to where oh your master mind what the brain did doctors found colors in the brain what is exist in the brain why people put electrodes on the brain and detecting brain activity because they detect potential that means there's no color in the brain okay tell me now where's the color then here there's no color it's energy is transferring to that energy is now converting to a electronic electric current current it's like the mic right when i say hello do you feel do you see that hello is going from here the transmitter to there 
hello, 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 hello is traveling <laughs> through the through the, the 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 air. Is it going hello? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's talk about the truth. Hello is not there, but there's an energy transfer is going there. Something similar is happening. Energy is being transferred to different form of energy. This is the current, and brain has the current as well. Brain is also equipped with what? Neurons, neurotransmitters, dopamine, whatever the neurotransmitters that you have, and all the other stuff in the brain. So where's the color is manifesting now? Ladies and gentlemen, where's the color? Here I'm introducing, ladies and gentlemen, this is the mind. Mind is not brain. Brain is not the mind. The colors that you see is coming from that signal, of course. Different, when different things mix together, what happens? When different things mix together, what happens? Different effects are manifesting. Same thing is there, but different effect is manifesting. Agree? Look at this purple color. Same thing is there, but different effect. Now, where's our signal? It's in the brain. Right? This is now sparking, right? Have you studied about the transformer? When the current is passing through this coil, it induces, induces the, when it is DC, AC, it induces the DC current in here. Do you remember the old physics? Right? Agree? Something similar is happening here. When this current is inducing the brain, when the, the brain is stimulated, right? Other, there are a lot of causes coming together with some sort of energy, which I cannot explain right now. If, I come, if you can come with me, I can explain a lot. Yeah, we are, I'm, I'm, this is for simply, simplifying. What I'm doing is I'm hiding some part to otherwise, you know, what is that? Then in order to explain that, I have to go another cycles or cycles and explain it, right? Then what happens? Because all of these causes come together with this signal, then what happens? Color is manifesting. Now, tell me, Where's the red that you see? Is it in here? Or oh, is it in your brain? Or oh, is it in your mind? It is the mind, ladies and gentlemen. You can't see what is here. What you see right now is what your mind is perceiving. It is not something that red is not coming from here to there. Red is something manifesting when things mix together. Let's do an experiment. Still you feel that no, 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 I can see things, the see color is there, no. What is the color of my robe? Maroon, maroon. See, where's the color? Here. Okay. This is the simplest experiment. Now close one eye. I, don't, I know that the people who have glasses, you have to close one eye and shake this eyeball with your finger, other finger. Close one eye and shake the eyeball. What happened? The world is shaking, right? <laughs> I mean, you have to shake this eyeball, right? not like rubbing, <laughs> right? You have to shake this, right? What happens? 
The world that you perceive is now shaking. I didn't shake. Nothing happens here. But what happens there? Then do you see what is existing here? <laughs> no, ladies and gentlemen. You have projected your perception to the objects. Now you are running after where? Like the carrot and the goat. Now you are running after that object. But you can't experience what is actually existing in there. Because red color is not there. In order to perceive this red color, a lot of causes has to come together. Each and every causes are equally contributing to manifest this red color. Red color is not something that exists in here. Red color is something that manifests in your mind. That's why when your partner and you are talking about the same dress, partner says, oh, that is lovely. You say, how can you say that lovely? That is ugly. That is beautiful. No, that is ugly. Come on, man, that is beautiful. Who is, who? What are you talking about? You are talking about something that you perceive in your mind. Can you share what you perceive with me? Can you share what you, the glass that you perceive with me? <laughs> no. <laughs> what you feel is what you feel. You can't share that feelings with others. Please understand this truth. Then you can live with, you can live a happily life with everyone. This is the way to happily live ever after, like in Enchanted or Frozen. Those movies, you know, the fairy movies that you have understood, like happily live ever after. Ah, this is the way to live happily because if you understand that you can't share hundred percent what you feel with others. Your red color is not my red color. That's why, like, you know, when you go with ladies, they say dark red, light red, apple red, white red, blah red, blah red, blue red, blah, blah, blah. And what we feel? Red. I'm not insulting anyone, but I, I live the life. I live the life with my wife, a later wife. I, 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 when I point at a dress, ah, that dress is lovely. She always say, mm, no. When I, no, it should be very beautiful. No. You can see this, you know, the arm? That's not right. Huh? How can you say like that? It's because what I feel is not what you feel. Your world is not my world. Because your world is, now you can see a bante, a monk, in front of you. In my world, I can see lovely people seated in front of me. But I can't see you because I see what I feel. You know, the funny thing is, snake can see only three or two colors, I can't remember. Snake thinks that is the world. You can see seven colors. You perceive this is the world. If someone can see ultraviolet, then they see, ah, this is the world. Have you experienced the world outside? No. This is the understanding you have to understand. This is the reality, ladies and gentlemen. You didn't experience the sound coming from here. I cannot say hi to you. What I'm doing is vibrating the air molecules. <laughs> that vibration triggers sound in your mind. From eyeball to brain, nerve signals. Ear to brain, nerve signals. Tongue to brain, nerve signals. Come on. What do you have in the brain are nerve signals, neurons. These are electronic circuit. This is something, a very huge circuit is there. 
because of that stimulus in the mind. Is there a specific place for the mind? No, mind is originating in association of all this body. It is a form of energy. When you understand this truth that you can, you will be free, ladies and gentlemen. That's what, that's why Lord Jesus has said, the truth will set you free. That's what Buddha has said. When you realize, when you come out of the ignorance, when you unveil the ignorance, then you will understand there's nothing to attach. Can you attach now? Can you attach to the drink? You know that what you feel is not here. How can you attach to drink now? Can you attach red color now? In here? When you understand this, red color is not here, this is my perception, then can you attach to that? Solve the problem in the outside. Solve the problem in the inside, different way. Outside problem, you have to deal things. Right? Do the research and pay respect to your elders, whatever the duties and responsibilities, do that. But in your mind, you have to understand that you can't see anything in the outside. This is all your perception. Perception arises and passes away. The perception that you feel right now is not going to feel, not going to be there with you forever. When the, when the causes are happening, when the causes are coming together, the color is manifesting in your mind. Now where's the color? Where's that color? You can't say gone, it's ceased. That process stops. Now, the very first question I asked from you, who are you? You are just a mind, ladies and gentlemen, arising and passes away in each and every moment. You feel colors, you feel sound, you feel taste, you feel smell, taste, touch. This is the real reality that you have to understand. You perceive you are, you have, you are seated and you are listening to a talk, but that is not what is happening right now. This mind is arising and passes away. Mind start to experience colors. Mind start to experience the touch. From where? From the signal that coming from this skin, you started to experience what? That sense of touch. That's how you know that you are seated. How do you know that you are seated? Come on, how do you know that you are seated? Because you feel it. You feel from, you feel the touch that coming from where? Oh, is it touch coming there? No, nerves ending are sensing the pressure. The touch is something manifesting in the mind. You know, the chicken curry or chicken that you eat doesn't have the taste of chicken. The tongue cannot taste the chicken. Tongue can sense the molecules that coming from the chicken. There are pockets in the tongue. When that molecules come and aligning with that pocket, it's, it's sending a signal, nerve signal. The where's the taste that you feel now? It is manifesting in the mind. Since you were born, you have lived with your mind. You are not seated. It's a sense of seating. You are not watching. It's a sense of watching. You are not hearing. It's a sense of hearing. Ladies and gentlemen, this world is not fixed. This world is arising and passes away each and every moment. It's not constant. This is the understanding you have to have. And that understanding will liberate yourself.
you can't see me. If you understand you can't see me, then you can see me. That's what it says. Now you see me. It's a movie. Now I can say, now you see me, because now you know that you can't see me. <sighs> you see your perception. Agree or not? Because eyeball cannot sense the colors. Brain cannot sense the colors. Colors arise in the mind. Based on the colors, now you are creating a story. Who is here? You don't know, but you feel the colors. And based on that colors, now inside the mind, it's a, this mind is now doing a business, what? Creating a story out of that. That's why when I ask you, okay, now what is here? You say, you feel, ah, that is promagenid or oh, strawberry or, you know? You don't know what is existing here. You create a story within your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the reality. Come back to senses. Do the research. Do your research in this as well. Because at the end of the day, you can do many. You can be a scholar. You can do a lot of research. You can study about COVID-19, whatever. That's what I did. I don't know what you're doing. Right? You can do any research about proteases and everything at the end of the day. If you are still suffering, if you feel, still feel anger, grief and fear because of lack of understanding who you are, then what is the point of doing all these things? Because at the end of the day, you wasted all your life for doing nothing, like the man who exists from the Kmart and leaving everything to that security guard, giving everything to that security guard and coming out. He wasted his entire time within the Kemat. I report, you decide. It's me to say, you to understand and reflect and comprehend. Be open-minded. If you want to, if you want to follow something more deeper than this, I invite you all. Because this is not the Buddhism. This is not the Buddhism, ladies and gentlemen. This is the science of the mind. You have to understand this. You have to reflect and you have to help other people as well, as many as, as many as people. Because my ambition is to help many as people, this understanding. Because I now, you are, I, am a, I am a real example. That now I don't feel stress. I don't feel anger. Because of that, I am happy continuously. I don't need to do things for happiness because truth will set you free. I invite you, if you want to follow this, follow up, if you want to expl explore more, we have a separate WhatsApp group for English and single people because my mother tongue language is Sinhala and I can explain this very well in Sinhala as well. And I don't know, some of them, you don't know single, that's why I did it in English. So, we can do sermons, we can, because I, I came to know all these things because of my teachers. This is not what I understood by my own, because I, I don't have any way to understand this alone, as you were now. Because when, you, when, you think, when, you, when I illuminating you this, then you start to think about that. Without that, you never question about this. You live in the same world that you feel. If you want to uh, explore more, I think there's a WhatsApp, sorry, a QR code. Yes. Uh, so we can just scan the no, not this one. This one, the QR code here. Yeah, and then you can register. Because uh, in future, I'll come back again. And we are, we are doing online sessions as well. Uh, because when we go there in Sri Lanka, we can meet each other through teams. And I can teach you, I can do, I mean, there are a lot of people. We, in our monastery, there are 750, there are 700 people, 50, 750 people, late nuns and monks and to be monks, uh, doing this, practicing this path to liberate themselves from all the sufferings. I welcome you all to take part of this journey, 
to find yourself and find the science behind yourself. This is the science of the mind. Mindfulness is, now you know what is actually existing in the present moment. Now you are aware what is happening within you. Then you don't feel the anger. Because you can't see me. You see your world. Your world is not my world. Much merits for listening. Thank you very much.